public hearing in a while. I, uh, I request everyone to uh, log in and uh, show yourself. Morning, Sandrisa. Morning, Chair. on finance is uh, hereby called to order. Let me uh, first acknowledge our uh, distinguished colleagues, the members of this committee present uh, virtually in, or in the order of their uh, logging in and arrival. We have with us Senator finance Lisa is, uh, Riveros, my partner, hereby called to order. Let me uh, first acknowledge our uh, distinguished colleagues, the members of this committee present of course, uh, virtually Senator, uh, in, or in the order also, uh, of their uh, virtually, uh, logging present, in and arrival. Senator we have Nancy with us Senator Lisa uh, and the hereby called to order. Let me first acknowledge our distinguished colleagues, the members of this committee present. Of course, uh, uh, Senator, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the order of the uh, uh, virtually uh, logging uh, in and arrival, we have with us Senator Lisa on the hereby called to order. Let me first acknowledge our distinguished colleagues, the members of this committee present virtually in the order of the virtually logging in and arrival, we have with us Senator Lisa on the hereby called to order. Probably Senators Nancy and uh, Nancy Binay and Lila Dilima. Senate Bill Number Twelve Sixty Seven, filed by Senator Bong Revilla Jr. And Senate Bill Number Two Two Four Three, filed by our Senate President Vicente Soto the Third. Taking also into consideration is House Bill Number Nine Four Five Nine, introduced by Congressman Ordanes and uh, members of the House of Representatives increasing the social pensions of senior citizens. Uh, at this juncture, may uh, we ask our uh, committee uh, secretariat to acknowledge the presence of uh, our uh, resource persons today uh, joining uh, the deliberation of this committee, COMSEC. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning to everyone. For today's hearing, we have invited resource persons from as of the moment, those who have all on board now, sir, are from the House of Representatives. We have Congressman Rodolfo Ordanes. From the Department of Budget and Management, we have Mr. Mark James, Evangelist, Chief Budget and Management Specialist. From the National Commission of Senior Citizens, we have Attorney Franklin Quijano, together with Commissioner Gloria Jumamil Mercado. From the Coalition of Services of the Elderly, represented by Mr. Floro Francisco of the Action to Pension Coalition, and from Senior Citizen Sectoral Council of the NAPSI, Ms. Salvacion Basiano. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this juncture, may I just be allowed to uh, give a short opening statement? Muli, uh, maganda at mapagpalang uh, umaga po sa ating lahat lalo tigit sa ating mga senior citizens, mga lolo at lola na nakasubaybay po sa ating pagdinig ngayong araw na ito. Magandang umaga. Nagagalak po tayong pangunahan ng pagdinig na ito ng Committee on Social Justice, Welfare and Rural Development joint with the Committee on Finance. 
And I just state for the record that consistent with the rules of the Senate, we were designated by the chairperson of this committee, Senator Laila Dilima, thank you, to conduct and preside this uh, hearing in our capacity as the uh, subcommittee chairperson. The eight bills on the agenda are truly special because uh, uh, para po ito sa ating mga senior citizens, para sa ating mga lolo at lola. Papasalamat po tayong muli at uh, kinikilala natin ang ating mga kasamahan dito sa Senado na nagsusulong po nitong uh, social pension for indigent senior citizens. Uulitin ko po sila Senate President Tito Soto, Senator Grace po, Senator Sani Angara, Senator Kiko Pangilinan, Senator Nancy Binay, Senator Laila Dilima, Senator Bong Revilla, Senator Riso Andiveros, uh, and uh, who else? And that's it. Kasama rin po sa ating... Um, uh, pagdinig ang kinatawan ng senior citizen uh, party list at chairperson ng House Special Committee on Senior Citizens, Congressman Rodolfo Ompong Ordanes. Alam ko po na kung paano nyo tinrabaho ito doon sa House of Representatives, itong House Bill number 9459 o ang Social Pension of Indigent Senior Citizens Bill. Kasama po ang 108 ng mga co-authors sa Kamara. Bilang na po yung Sibak Partis and I think Akbayan, no, Senator Risa. Uh, magagalit po yung tatay ko kasi one of uh, the co-authors siya pag hindi natin na uh, dininig ito dito sa Senado. Um, ayon po doon sa 2020 Census of uh, Population in Housing ng PSA, 11.31% ng ating populasyon o mahigit 12 milyong Pilipino ang senior citizens. Isa po, kada sampung Pilipino ay may edad anim na put pataas. Si Senator Bato naging senior citizen kahapon. At uh, kaya mayroong may, maliit na celebration dito sa Senado. That's why the Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2010 or RA 9994 is a precious gift to our lolos and lolas. The privileges and the uh, various government assistance given to them serve as their lifeline, especially to those who are frail, sickly, and with disability and no regular income and without pension from any government institution. Sa halos dalawang taon na po ng pandemya, isa sa mga pinaka-iingitan nating lahat ay ating uh, mga nakata pinaka-iingatan lahat. Sorry, pinaki pinaka-iingatan nating lahat ay ang ating mga nakakatanda because we know that older people, especially those with comorbidities are highest risk from uh, COVID-19. Nangangamba rin po tayo na tamaan sila ng sakit dahil marami sa kanila ang wala naman talagang pagkukunan ng pambili ng gamot o pampa-ospital. The pandemic <clears throat> highlighted the need to increase the monthly stipend or of indigent senior citizens. 500 pesos is really very small, especially if we take into account the inflation rate from the time the social pension was introduced in 2010 that caused skyrocketing of prices of basic necessities. Pambili pa nga lang po ng maintenance medicines para sa hypertension, tulad ng Lasartan at Amlodipine, Norvas, ay kulang na kulang pa po ang 500 piso kada buwan. Simple at straightforward po ang layunin at ang common denominator ng mga panukalang batas na pag-uusapan natin ngayong umaga. 1,000 piso kada buwan para sa indigent nating mga lolo at lola. Narito rin po siyempre ang DBM, mga kasamahan natin sa DOF para tulungan din po tayo sa pagkwenta ng pondong kinakailangan. Nandito rin po ang DSWD to ensure the administrability of this proposal. Kasama rin po natin ang NCSC dahil gusto rin natin na alamin kung dapat nga bang ilipat ang pangangasiwa ng pondo mula sa DSWD patungo sa National Commission of Senior Citizens tulad ng nakasaad sa Senate Bill Number no. 2243. Sabi po nila, lahat tayo ay magkakaedad. Kaya magkakaedad. Balang araw magkakaedad. Kaya kung may pagkakataong iparamdam natin ang pagmamahal sa ating mga nakakatanda, sa ating mga lolo at lola, gawin na po natin at huwag na tayong mag-aksaya ng panahon. Isa po ang panukalang batas na ito sa mga paraan upang uh, maipadama ang pagpapahalaga at pagmamahal natin sa ating mga senior citizens. Muli, maraming salamat and uh, may God bless us all. This juncture, I'd like to put on record that uh, Senator Laila Dilima wishes to insert into the records her opening speech and uh, we will do so. 
Uh, next, we will give the floor to Senator Lisa Ontiveros, one of the authors. Ma'am, you're recognized. Salamat, Mr. Chairman, at isang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga lolo at lola. Bago pa man magpandemya, hindi na sapat ang pensyon na natatanggap ng ating mga senior citizens. The original 500 peso social pension prescribed by the law is severely insufficient for their needs, both for their basic sustenance and medical concerns, gaya ng sinabi rin ni Chairman. In addition, the purchasing power of the prescribed social pension has been eroded little by little by the inflation of the previous years at pinadapa pa lalo ng inflation ng nakaraang taon na pumalo ng 4.2% noong Nobyembre 2021. In light of this, I filed Senate Bill 160 or the Linga Para Kay Lolo at Lola Act. Ang bill na ito ay naglalayo na bigyan lahat ng ating mga lolo at lola na nagkakaedad ng 65 years pataas ng monthly social pension of 1,000 pesos regardless of their socioeconomic status. Para naman sa ating senior citizens aged 60 to 64, all indigent lolos and lolas are to be given a 1,000 peso monthly social pension. Sa ganitong paraan, hindi lamang mga indigent senior citizens ang makatatanggap ng social pension mula sa gobyerno. Nananawagan tayo ng universal social pension for our senior citizens upang lahat sila ay magkaroon ng kakayahang mamuhay ng maayos kahit papaano. Many of our senior citizens are now being considered ineligible for social pension and are left vulnerable. And as a way of helping them and acknowledging their contribution to society, enacting a law for the universal social pension will give them a source of income that will somehow help provide for their needs, lalo na sa mga sukudulang na apektohan ng COVID o di kaya ay nagpapagaling pa lang sa mga sakit na nararamdaman nila. Marami rin sa kanila ang nawala ng trabaho sa panahon ng pandemya, lalo na yung mga nasa informal sector. Meron ding mga umaasa sa suporta ng mga anak na nawalan din ng trabaho dahil sa mga COVID restrictions. In addition, giving them a universal social pension benefits us as a whole because they will be given more opportunities to purchase much-needed basics and increase household spending, which in turn fuels national consumption and boosts our economy, both at the national and the local levels. Walang hanggan ang benepisyo na binigay sa atin ng mga senior citizens. Nagtrabaho at nagcontribute sila sa pambansang ekonomiyang minana natin at ginagalawan natin ngayon. Pinalaki nila tayo at madalas pinalalaki pati na rin ang kanilang mga apo. Ngayon, panahon ng para ibalik natin ang tulong, aruga at pagmamahal na ibinigay nila sa atin. We should give our elderly the care and respect that they need as they face the harsher reality of a rapidly changing world. This means that we try our best to give them, as a society, a comfortable and dignified living for the rest of their lives. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Risa, one of the uh, authors of uh, the measures that we will be deliberating today, Senate Bill Number 160, o Linga Para Kay Lolo at Lola A. At this juncture, we would like to uh, hear our uh, counterpart from the House of Representatives, our dear friend, our good friend, Congressman Rodolfo M. Ordanes, party list ng senior citizen, sir. You have the floor. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, to uh, Sen Senator Laila de Lima, our chairperson of the Senate Committee on Social Justice, Welfare, and Rural Development. Presiding Officer, Senator uh, Joel Villanueva. To our Chairperson of the Senate Committee on Finance, Senator Sani Angara. 
our equally competent senators present here in this August chamber today. Good morning, Your Honors. It is my great pleasure to be virtually present in front of you today in behalf of the House of Representatives Special Committee on Senior Citizens. This legislative measure on increasing the social pension of indigent senior citizens can be our landmark contribution this 18th Congress, which may leave a lasting legacy to our elderly and their families to assist them at this difficult time and help augment their cost of daily subsistence and medical needs. Senior citizens are one of the most economically vulnerable demographic in the country. According to studies, our senior citizens become more economically vulnerable as they age, since they are less likely to find empl employment while their medical expenses continue to pile up due to sickness, disability, or increasing family responsibilities. According to statistics on Social Security in 2019, out of the projected 8.8% of the Philippine population, which will comprise senior citizens, studies suggest that only 20% of them, of, the, of, of them will benefit from retirement of old age pensions. Meanwhile, about 3.8 million of indigent senior citizens is covered by existing government social pension program. Thus, under existing measures, almost 55% of the senior citizens are receiving no pension at all. Therefore, our current measures are clearly inadequate to protect our vulnerable sen seniors since it leaves a multi multitude of them outside the protection of our government. And even for the seniors who are already receiving pension, the continuing rising cost of living in the country, the unemployment of household members arising from the pandemic and other conditions necessitate the, the need to supplement the funds available to them. Without the proposed measure, millions of senior citizens, regardless of indigency, will be placed at a high risk of economic insecurity and resulting poverty. However, it is hoped that the validated or waitlisted 4,599,589 senior citizens in the DSWD clean listed indigent social pension beneficiaries as of January 21, 2022, will be afforded the funding they need as well. The plight of our seniors ran contrary to the 1987 Constitution, which mandates the state has a duty to care for its elderly members through programs of social security and its policy under existing laws, which emphasizes its obligation to reaffirm the valued Filipino tradition of caring for the elderly and foster their capacity to attain more meaningful and productive aging. More than, more than two years na po ang COVID-19 pandemic with the lockdowns, slumping economy, threatened recession and public fatigue. It is only but fitting that the authors and co-authors of this 28 consolidated bills in the House of Representatives, we stand firmly on the belief that older persons have the unconditional right to income security. Thus, social pension is the most effective way to provide dignity to older persons. This bill may yet be our relevant response to provide indigent senior citizens with the economic security they deserve to safeguard their welfare. With the foregoing premises, I am urging this committee to favorably consider this important measure. 
sa ating pong mga pinakamamahal na senador. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagmamahal sa aming mga senior citizens. Huli po, maraming salamat po at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Congressman uh, Ompong Ordanes of uh, Senior Citizens Party List. We'll, we'll proceed now with uh, our different government agencies and then we go with the uh, uh, People's Organization of uh, Senior Citizens. Let's let's hear now from uh, the Department of Budget and Management. We have here with us Mr. Mark James Evangelista, Chief Budget and Management Specialist. Sir, you're recognized. Magandang umaga po sa atin po napakagaling na test daman. And Senator Risa, Senator Aimee, Senator Binay. So, on the part of the DBM po, uh, we would like to state po that uh, we recognize and support the intention of the bills. As a matter of fact po, for uh, this year, for FY 2022 ga, ah, meron po tayong allotment na 25 billion under ng DSWD budget for the be for 500 pesos provision for the 3,835,066 indigent senior citizens. Um, considering po yung provision po ng bill, given this constant figure uh, of 3 million indigent senior citizens, it would be 50 billion po, uh, dear, dear Senator. So we would also like to be clarified po at this uh, point po, uh, ano po ba talaga yung gagawin po nating uh, basis or number, official number po ng uh, beneficiaries so that uh, the department would be able to come up with a more than accurate uh, number for the required budgetary allocation po for the coming year. Uh, yun po, uh, Mr. Chair. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. I was looking at the, uh, the, the data that you, you made mention, no? Uh, for the past five years, in 2018, the GAA uh, budget for social pension for indigent senior citizens is about 19 billion, 200, uh, 19 uh, a million, 282, oh, 19 billion, yeah, 282 million. Ngayon po is 25 billion, uh, 18 uh, million, for 2022 and the target is 4 million 85,066 i'm just confused with the figures that you may mention but anyway this is this is from the records of uh, the department of social welfare and development we'll we'll hear from them yes, uh, uh, thank you for sir thank you thank you sir we have with us miss belma villanueva mag-anak ko pa huyata ito taga DSWD ma'am uh, you recognize Ms. Belma. Sir, good morning po. Yes, are you are you here? We can yes. hear you, but we can't see you. Uh -huh. I am on observer capacity, sir. We have our uh, focal person, Ms. Anna, uh, Anna Lisa Salud from our Program Management Bureau. Okay, uh, we can uh, recognize her. Is she around? Because uh, I don't see her anywhere. This is a Senate committee hearing and uh, we invited uh, uh, a representative from uh, the Department of Social Welfare and Development. So you are not representing the SWD, Ms. Belma? Uh, I am not a, in a position, sir, to uh, no, to speak before our agency. Can you uh, ask your colleagues to uh, please give proper respect to this uh, committee, and uh, we will wait for 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 you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, at this juncture, we'd like yeah. to hear from the National Commission of Senior Citizens, uh, Chief Commissioner Attorney Franklin Quijano, sir. You recognize, sir. Thank you. Sir, you are in a mute mode. Uh, if you can unmute your uh, computer. Thank you. Yes, we can hear you now. Thank you. Please proceed. Senator Villanueva, uh, Senator Laila de Lima, uh, Senator Risa Ontiveros, and uh, 
Aimee Marcos. Also, good morning to Kong Ompong, who has uh, been very diligent in the, the works for the senior citizens. Uh, your honors, uh, offhand, we would like to thank um, <clears throat> the legislative branch, Senate and Congress, for passing Republic Act 11350. The law in itself is landmark because for the first time, the, this government uh, has recognized the senior citizens as a sector such that uh, we need to give full attention to the senior citizens, both uh, in its contribution to nation building and uh, in the welfare of the senior citizens. Having said that, uh, we would like to also thank uh, our uh, executive branch for appointing uh, already five uh, commissioners. Uh, there are uh, four um, commissioners plus the chairperson, your honors, uh, this representation. So uh, we already have a representative from Luzon, a representative from uh, Visayas, and two representatives from Mindanao. Um, the National Commission of Senior Citizens, your honor, have already accomplished its basic works of uh, building the implementing rules and regulations. It has been provided by DBM, the basic numbers for organizing the national office and the regional office. And uh, of course, we would like to thank uh, Senate and Congress for providing us uh, the budget. In the first year of our operation, Your Honors, even if it was not part of the NEP, um, the, legislative, the legislative branch has provided us 25 million. Thank you for providing us 25 million for a start. And uh, right now in 2022, we are being provided 170 million. With this, Your Honors, uh, we would like to uh, answer the question of uh, the chairperson, Senator Villanueva, of our readiness to accept the functions that need to be transferred from DSWD to NCSC. Um, having been prepared for that, Your Honors, uh, we would like to hope uh, that uh, we'll be able to expedite the transfer of the functions. Now, uh, as regards the different proposals, Your Honors, we are very happy that uh, for every invitation uh, at the lower house, we were present and would like to appreciate the efforts of Kong Ompong Ordanes for proposing uh, a universal pension for the senior citizens. It may just be unfortunate, Your Honors, that uh, this measure did not pass uh, the plenary. I don't know for what reason, but uh, the, uh, the the proposed uh, bill the, uh, that Pong uh, Ompong has passed to the Senate would be uh, from 500 to 1,000. In all this, Your Honors, we are supportive, although uh, the commission has not yet met since uh, we'll still be meeting on Thursday, we would like to also uh, reserve our uh, position papers for uh, uh, the measures that are being proposed uh, by Senate. Overall, Your Honors, we are really thankful and grateful of the efforts both of uh, Senate and Congress. Thank you very much, Your Honors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Attorney uh, Quijano. Uh, we would also like to acknowledge uh, the presence, virtual presence of Senator Nancy Binay. We acknowledge her kanina, but uh, she's now present. Uh, thank you, Senator Nancy, for uh, for uh, joining us. Um, Attorney uh, Quijano, anyway, bilanggit nyo naman po that uh, you are ready, no? In case uh, we go with the Senate Bill Number Two Two Four Three's intention, yung transferring. Uh, from DSWD to National Commission of Senior Citizens, yung uh, pag-distribute pag, uh, nito no? within uh, three years from effectivity of the act, yun yung nakalagay dito sa 2243. No? I just wanted to ask how equipped uh, is NCSC to implement the social uh, pension and uh, how will the, uh, the uh, commission handle the concerns arising from the uh, distribution of uh, the social pension. I will ask the same question later sa DSWD if we already have uh, someone from DSWD. Yes, Attorney Akiano. Your Honor, judging from uh, our observations in the field, the distribution of the social pension 
which right now is still being done uh, face to face uh, in most of the times uh, could be resolved in a manner that uh, that uh, we will rely on the sophisticated financial uh, instruments your honor uh, secondly uh, we would like to we have seen that in the distribution uh, these uh, special disbursing officers the SDOs comes from the regular uh, officers of the SWD. In the case of the SWD, therefore, not one among the contract uh, contractual employees and contract of services employees assigned to the um, social pension uh, would be able to do a cash advance, which means that uh, if we are to transport that function to the NCSC, we have to have uh, the regular employees as well. So we are beginning to populate our uh, uh, organizational structure. And of course, uh, since this is a whole of government approach, we are also looking at uh, DSWD helping us populate uh, our regular employees, your honors. So that uh, by uh, mid this year, once uh, we would have uh, the basic numbers, your honor, we would like to say that uh, that would be a time when we will be able to effectively handle the social pension. Uh, so maybe mid this year or thereabouts, Your Honor. Uh, right now, uh, we are actually hoping that the SWD will help us uh, uh, select the basic numbers for our uh, HRMPSB and our uh, uh, procurement unit. Absent that, of course, Your Honor, would mean that uh, we will have difficulty because as of the moment, we still are not able to procure because we don't have a, a bank. We, in fact, uh, are dependent on the SWD over uh, the selection process of our employees. But uh, soon enough, Your Honor, because uh, the SWD has been very kind to us, I think uh, we would be ready uh, by, by, by that time, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Uh, thank, thank you, Attorney. No, just, just a follow-up question because uh, I was looking at the data. For example, last year, the target beneficiaries last year is 3.8 uh, million, 3.835 million. The actual beneficiary is only 3.339, which is 87%. Uh, and uh, given the administrative task of the uh, distribution of social pension, what would be the plan of... Uh, um, NCSC to uh, strengthen its capacity to have a uh, uh, wider reach given that it is uh, a newly established uh, commission? Your Honor, uh, with the help Other of... Other than, of course, additional employees, no? <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, Your Honor, uh, even with the difficulties we have, we are actually being provided so much support coming from the NGOs and the POs. And uh, Sir uh, Floro Francisco, for instance, coming from COSE, and their allied groups, as well as uh, uh, the other uh, senior citizens organization and associations have been very supportive. The first important uh, work that we need to do really is database building, Your Honor. The database that is to be transferred from the SWD to us would just be the database for indigent senior citizens. But then again, uh, we need to identify the universe of senior citizens. And as you aptly pointed out, Your Honor, there are more than 12 million senior citizens already. As against the registered number of 8 million, this is a gap which the NCSC needs to address. And we seek the support both of Senate and Congress for a very strong database so that uh, easily with the help of our NGOs and our uh, civil society organizations, uh, including the senior citizens associations, we would be in a quick period be able to uh, populate a reliable database for the senior citizens. Thank you. Thank you very much, Attorney Franklin. I think we already have a representative of DSWD who is uh, now on board. She is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Miss Annalisa Salud our uh, senior citizen uh, focal person. Uh, may we hear from her? Uh, Ma'am Annalisa, salud. I was told you're on board. 
but obviously you're you're still not around. We have been waiting for GSWD. Anyway, um, we'll give the floor because we wanted to hear, of course, from, from our uh, sectoral representative, Ms. Salvacion uh, Bashano, and uh, our uh, ACAP coalition representative, Mr. Floro Francisco. Ladies first, Ms. Uh, Salvacion Bashano uh, uh, from uh, Senior Citizen Sectoral Council ng NAPSI. Ma'am, you're recognized. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor, and uh, good morning to all our esteemed uh, uh, senators and resource persons. Um, I am Salvo Bashano from the National Anti-Poverty Commission Senior Citizens uh, Central Council. Uh, please allow me, uh, with your indulgence, to read our position. Please. Thank you. Position paper on the Senate bills number one to six one three three one six zero two five nine five seventy twelve sixty seven twenty two forty three and ninety four five ninety five amending the social pension program for indigenous senior citizens as provided in the Republic Act ninety nine ninety four. The National Anti Poverty Commission Senior Citizen Sectoral Council, while expressly appreciative of the efforts of our honorable senators, to help the country's marginalized sector, uh, senior citizens by amending the non-contributory social pension benefit level for indigent seniors as provided in Republic Act 9994, otherwise known as the Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2010, respectfully manifest our preference, thus pushing for a universal social pension that will benefit all the senior citizens of the country who rightfully are all entitled to government care and assistance. In constant consultation with our constituents spread nationwide, it is our position that the systemic ills encountered throughout the duration of the social pension program implementation from the year 2011 to 2021 cannot be corrected just by increasing the amount of the pension benefits. Evaluations made of the program surfaced glaring problems experienced by senior citizens throughout the country, such as, number one, the inclusion, exclusion, and targeting errors. Since the targeting and selection of beneficiaries is based on the subjective assessment or appraisal of the implementer, misinterpretations of the criteria and other personal factors, such as kinship, politics, relationships, resulted in exclusion and of unqualified uh, younger, healthier and more affluent seniors and the, the exclusion of qualified beneficiaries from the program. Number two, the listing of beneficiaries uh, who would queue for hours only to find their names missing from the list and or replaced by others not originally included. And then uh, number three, delays in and erratic uh, payout schedules, lack of personnel, transportation, and other administrative issues making for erratic payout schedules. Number four, non-disbursement of pension benefits for as long as one year. The amount of 23 billion pesos social pension fund was not distributed in 2021 effectively denying 3,796,709 social pensioners basic access to funds crucial to their subsistence and medical requirements. Number five, the principle of inclusivity was negated altogether by excluding the majority of senior citizens who are equally needed and needy and rightfully entitled to government assistance, the purpose for which the law was enacted was uh, has been defeated. And the last, the 11 year program implementation was an exercise in futility. It, wa it, uh, it wasted so much government resources to program leakages and corruption. Whatever good the beneficiaries got from the program was very minimal and did not make any significant change on their lives, much less to the sector and the community. Therefore, instead of just increasing the pension benefit from 500 pesos to 1,000 pesos per month for the same small segment of the senior citizens population, 
and actually just replicating the same flaws in its implementation, we respectfully urge your honors to legislate a 1,500 peso universal social pension that will truly help uplift the lives and improve the welfare of all Filipino seniors. The rationale of which uh, are as follows. Uh, universal social pension programs have no targeting errors as every person 60 years old and above are deemed qualified. It is rights-based and everyone gets to enjoy what the government offers to the constituents, whatever their status may be. While at a glance, it is deemed costly because of the total coverage, it actually generates much savings as it eliminates issues on lack of personnel, transportation, and risks that are attendant to transport and handling of money. Digital banking could be employed, saving, uh, saving much time, administration co uh, administrative costs, and corruption is less likely to happen. What is saved from efficient implementation can be added to pension fund to accommodate more beneficiaries. With improved capability of senior citizens to provide for their medical as well as nutritional needs, uh, thereby attaining better health outcomes, older people and their families will be saved from spending their precious resources on expensive hospitalization and healthcare service. Government will then be able to save on field health and other subsidies. Such savings can be of much use in times of calamities and pandemics. Rather than uh, a waste of government resources, uh, our development uh, planners should view uh, the universal social pension as an investment. Healthy senior citizens can, uh, can still engage in productive endeavors, making the community economically dynamic. Participation in civic activities, helping in various community development programs, allows older people to continue to contribute to nation building. A minimal adjustment by way of an automatic 3% annual increase on the proposed 1,500 monthly pension would go a long way to counter the impact of the continually rising inflation. This provision will also do away with costly congressional and Senate hearings uh, for the sake of re reviewing and amending, uh, which by experience takes five years or even more. The fact is this review has been, has been there for so, many, for so many years. Whatever government spends on the program is not wasted as it brings in greater impetus to socioeconomic progress by harnessing the vast resource offered by senior citizens who have developed much expertise in the course of their younger and more economically productive years. Similar programs exist and have been found effective in Vietnam, Thailand, Brunei, Timor-Leste, to name a few. Why not in the Philippines? And for funding, Uh, the proposed 1,500 pesos monthly benefits for the estimated 10 million Filipino senior citizens will cost roughly 180 billion pesos annually. The amount is large, yes, but affordable and therefore the program is feasible. The following are suggested funding sources in addition to what you have in mind. Number one, the social pension fund approved by the GAA for 2022. This can serve as uh, to jumpstart the universal social pension. Uh, the fund allocated for the present social pension program is 25 billion, so it's a good start. Number two, the SWD savings from unutilized and undistributed social pension indigents uh, for 2019. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, 23 billion pesos were not distributed in 2019 uh, because of the year-long rev uh, revalidation process, uh, uh, trying to cleansing the list of beneficiaries. And uh, for the year 20, uh, 2020 and 2021, uh, which was hampered uh, because of the 
uh, uh, pandemic uh, lockdowns. And number three, uh, we hope to be able to share, to have a share from the incomes or revenues in the operation of the Philippine Retirement Authority. For the longest time, we never heard about the PRA being involved in issues of senior citizens or older persons in the Philippines. It is high time uh, they take uh, they take a bow and uh, take some responsibility. Uh, number four, rechanneling the 10% annual budgets of all government agencies and offices originally earmarked for senior citizens programs, activities, and projects. Uh, for the longest time, uh, this was never implemented in the government agencies uh, where uh, attribution uh, activities were, were done along, uh, just for the sake of, of reporting some, uh, uh, some use, some utilization of the 10% uh, programs, uh, um, uh, funds for senior citizens. Uh, number five, uh, because of the increased LGU disposable funds brought about by the implementation of the Mandanas ruling, at least 1% of the annual budget of all LGUs can be pulled together to become the LGU counterpart or share in the program. After all, the senior citizens are located in, in the uh, local government uh, uh, localities. So uh, they need to, to also participate. I mean, the LGUs have to have some responsibility. And the last thing is 5% we propose that 5% of the total annual national budget as approved by the GAA compared to many, uh, because uh, I mean, uh, there's a lot of items in the national budget and uh, some of them maybe uh, can take some slashing like, uh, you know, compared to many items in the national budget, this is minimal considering also uh, the senior citizens' undeniable contribution to nation building, this is a necessary and affordable cost. Uh, may we request you, uh, uh, honored, uh, esteemed uh, senators, what you do today is your preparation for, our, for your own eventual aging. Let this be your legacy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ma'am Salvacion Basiano. With the indulgence of uh, my colleagues, uh, pagsalitay na rin po natin yung uh, last uh, ano natin from uh, People's Organization, si uh, uh, Mr. Floro Francisco from Actions uh, Pension Coalition. Sir, you have the floor. Thank you. Yes po. Uh, magandang umaga po sa lahat ng uh, mga senador na nandito, uh, sa mga congressman na nandito, sa mga uh, pinuno ng mga iba't ibang ahensya. Of course, sa aking mga kasamahan sa senior citizens, uh, magandang umaga. Maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na ito na binigay niyo sa amin. Uh, in the interest of time po, ay uh, bibilisan ko na lang. Meron po sana kaming sharing uh, ng uh, aming video, kung inyong mama, uh, ng aming presentation, kung inyong mamarapatin. Pwede po ba? Sige po, hindi naman po siguro matagal yan, no, sir? Uh, bibilisan ko na lang po. Uh, I will try to avoid the... Uh, Repeating what has been said by uh, yes. uh, my colleague uh, Nanay Basion, no. So Thank first you. of all, po, I, uh, we are uh, opposed to uh, House Bill 9459 because uh, we want a universal social pension law instead of a mere amendment of this existing social pension law. Uh, let me remind you, po, na nung panahon po ni Congressman Datol ay uh, napagkasunduan na po namin ng universal social pension. At maraming salamat kay Congressman uh, Odanes for trying to push for this, but uh, we failed. And we failed because uh, one of the reasons why we failed is uh, in the actual process of uh, the uh, hearing ay uh, hindi po kami naimbitahan. No? Hindi po naimbitahan ang maraming representative ng mga senior citizens. At inignore po nila yung aming uh, substitute bill na napagkasunduan na maraming, maraming congress ng nakaraan. So, uh, of course, alam na natin yung mga criticism sa existing social pension. Ang pinakamatindi po rito ay yung purchasing power po ay fully eroded na. Kung gagawin nyo pong 1,000 lamang yan, ay uh, hindi pa rin po makakasapat dahil sa totoo lang po, may utang po ang gobyerno sa amin dahil ang kasunduan natin nung unang implement ito ay every now and then i-review natin at i-upgrade. Wala pong upgrading na nangyari kaya may utang po kayo sa amin so wag po ninyo kaming bigyan ng isang libo. Ang kailangan po natin kung maari ay 1,500 although alam nating lahat na hindi ito sapat 
para sa pangangailangan ng mga senior citizens. And of course, uh, naging malaking problema natin ngayon yung COVID uh, pandemic na kung saan ay maraming nawalan ng trabaho, na maraming nawalan ng income. Pati po yung mga anak namin na tumutulong sa amin ay marami po sa kanila ay nawalan din ng trabaho. So ang uh, aming pong uh, tinutulak ay universal social pension dahil na uh, unang-una po ay uh, matatanggal yung targeting and exclusion error. Uh, alam po natin na yung sistema ngayon ng paglilista is uh, um, uh, a big problem at uh, malam natin na nangyayari ang corruption dyan, may favoritism dyan, may nepotism dyan. Kung uh, magiging universal social pension at lahat ng 60 years old ay kasali, wala na pong discretion yung mga nagdidesisyon dyan at gumagawa ng katiwalian. Of course, we believe that the social pension is uh, feasible and affordable. Uh, it will be a foundation to build a more comprehensive social protection floor for our country. It will definitely spur economic growth for the senior citizens and other support, uh, depressed areas. And of course, we would like to remind you that please do not look at social pension as, a, as an expenditure of government. Please consider it as a social investment to prevent and reduce poverty and equality. And of course, it should be a right that should be afforded to all not only to a chosen few na pipiliin lamang nung sinong may kapangyarihan gumawa nung listahan na yun. And lastly, of course, it will improve the quality of life and welfare of senior citizens, which will also reduce the risk and cost of health systems in our health management. And lastly, of course, it will uh, give us a sense of uh, recognition for our lifelong contributions to nation building. Marami pa pong ano, uh, social uh, and economic benefits ang maibibigay ng universal social pension. It is a viable option that will partly address the economic needs of 10 million uh, senior citizens. It will close the uh, poverty and inequality gap. It will help us recover from the impact of COVID-19 because of its multiplier effect. It will increase household consumption and, and spending that will boost local economies. And of course, we have uh, simulation studies that have shown that the macroeconomic impact of implementing a universal social pension is comparable to a similar scale of investment in any infrastructure project. Meron na pong mga study na nagpatunay na maaari pong mangyari ito. Of course, there are other benefits, no? It will allow the senior citizens to purchase maintenance medicines and vitamins to improve their health. It will provide disposable income to start livelihoods and that could generate an uh, income and enable uh, senior citizens to have a sense of financial independence and regain their self-esteem. If uh, economically productive endeavors will be engaged in a large number of senior citizens, it will make economic uh, environment dynamic and it can bring some uh, returns on investments from government. And of course, the funds that the senior citizens normally have, we share this with our family and therefore it will result to further distribution of wealth. And of course, it will also allow the harnessing of the vast human resources offered by senior citizens in community de development and nation building. Again, uh, we have also listed the possible uh, fund sourcing po. Uh, yung, yung pong reallocation of, of public expenditures to favor social pension. Nabanggit na po natin na ang uh, kailangan ay 180 billion. Pero sa totoo lang po ay pwede nating ribisahin ang General Appropriations Act at hanapin natin doon kung alin ang mga proyekto na walang masyadong social impact at uh, pwede nating i-realign ang funding ng gobyerno para sa amin. And then we have to review the existing laws to increase and find new sources of revenues. Marami po tayong pwedeng gawin na uh, uh, makakadagdag ng ating uh, uh, panggagalingan ng, ano, ng uh, resources. Uh, Unang-una po ay uh, yung uh, pa paano ina-allocate yung uh, bagong train law, pwede po natin reviewin yun. Pangalawa po ay uh, pwede po tayong mag-tax ng uh, wealth. Yung uh, mga extremely wealthy Filipinos, we can tax them. And then uh, we can also consider other tax measures that uh, will be uh, possible. And another area is to tax financial transactions. There are so many financial transactions now that can be taxed. For example, the very high income of people involved in social media, we can tax this. And uh, there are other uh, possibilities to uh, improve uh, tax collection uh, of the uh, government. And then we need to uh, strengthen policies and regulations to uh, eliminate illicit financial flows. At marami po tayong problema dyan. Simply cracking on uh, graft and corruption will be a big source of income. Cracking down on uh, money laundering, on bribery, on tax evasion. We have, we have to have a stricter management of our customs. 
We can address trade mispricing and other financial crimes that uh, have been uh, causing uh, losses to the government in terms of collection and income. And we can also review the possibility of utilizing fiscal and foreign exchange reserves. Gaya ng sinabi ni Nanay Salve, yung kinikita ng um, Philippine Retirement Authority could be one, one possibility of uh, a foreign exchange. But there are others that we can help to... We can volunteer many senior citizens who are experts on financing and accounts, and we can volunteer to help you find these things. We can also consider borrowing or restructuring our existing financial debts, even possibility of repudiation. Yung ating pong, uh, foreign debt ay uh, napakalaking issue at marami po tayong public sector uh, uh, debts na dapat nating reviewin. Baka po pwedeng makatulong ang maraming retirees na mga dating mga accountants at mga financial experts sa gobyerno. We are willing to volunteer to the National Commission on Senior Citizens. Tutulungan po namin kayong maghanap ng pera. And then lastly po, we need to promote national social dialogue to generate ideas for development of strategic options to help finance universal social pension. Yun lang po at maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na ito. Muli maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat uh, sa pagsusumikap uh, na magkaroon tayo ng mas maayos na pagkalinga sa mga nakatatanda. Sana po ay uh, kasama lahat. Sana all, hindi lang po yung pinipili ng mga may kapangyarihan. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po, uh, Sir Floro Francisco ng Action sa Pension Coalition. Maraming salamat at uh, umasa po kayo that uh, we are all here to help. Lahat po ay uh, gagawin natin para matulungan ang ating mga senior citizens. Lahat ng pwede natin gawin at makakayang gawin. Tayo dito. Uh, just just uh, to, to give the floor to uh, DSWD, sir. We, we, we already have DSWD. Uh, if we can uh, hear from them, we have been uh, waiting for quite a while. We have with us uh, Miss Annalisa Salud. Good morning. Person. Yes, yes, good morning. Yes, uh, Ms. Your Lu, Honor. Can I recognize, please? Yes, po. good morning, everyone, to all the senators and to all the speakers. Po. Uh, I'm Annalisa Salud, po, the Social Pension uh, Social Welfare Officer for of the I'm just DSWD. wondering, ma'am, sorry, you, can, you can't show yourself. Uh, are you having a hard time uh, um, connecting or uh, with your uh, internet connection? Because uh, we can't see yes, you sir. here. So you're having a hard time. Okay, we will uh, okay. allow you to, to speak. Mr. Dale. Yes, Mr. Dale. Uh, Congressman Ordanes. Uh, gusto ko lang po mag, uh, mag-react doon sa sinabi. Yeah, Bin sir, we'll do that. Floor. I'll give you the floor after this, sir, if I may. Uh, sorry, pasensya na kung yes, can no, just yes, hear yes, this yes, WD and then I'll get back to you, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, pa. Thank you, pa. Yes, thank you. Uh, Ms. Salud. Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, sir. Thank you. Please proceed. Uh, um, uh, as I've mentioned, I'm the social pension pension uh, focal person of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, and uh, I was tasked to attend to this uh, uh, hearing. Po, and uh, I will uh, share with you the the position paper. Uh, which was also submitted to the commit uh, to the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriations. Uh, the Department of Social Welfare and Development fully supports the substitute bill uh, on the uh, provision of the monthly social pension from 500 pesos to 1,000 pesos. The DSWD humbly believes that the enactment of the social uh, the substitute bill will help to. Uh, sustain the daily needs of senior citizens for survival, including their medical uh, requirements. However, the future implementation and budget uh, should be given to the, uh, as we all know, the National Commission of Senior Citizens, uh, wherein all uh, programs of the older persons will be transferred by virtue of Republic Act uh, 11350. So the the SWD is in full support of these uh, pro uh, uh, provisions. Po. This is in consideration of the fact that the expected uh, full transition of the programs to the NCSC uh, is also uh, 
uh, as also uh, started since last year po and uh, the uh, the responsibilities and funds being given to the DSWD must already be directed to the NCSC from year to 2022 onwards okay. so uh the universal social pension also uh, as mentioned by our uh, um our representatives from the NAPSI, Moms uh, Salvation Basiano, uh, we we release uh, we are really looking into that uh, implementation of the universal social pension in order to uh, accommodate all the indigenous senior citizens and also the uh, uh, actually the more or less uh, the general population of the senior citizens. Uh, for now, po, as mentioned, po, we the social pension has a total budget of 25 billion pesos this year, okay, uh, which we have a target of 3.8 million beneficiaries or indigenous senior citizens. So far, uh, for this for 2021, we already uh, utilized the total budget of uh, 90 percent, po, uh, 20 billion 613 millions five hundred four thousand pesos out of the twenty three billion four hundred fifty eight million two hundred sixty seven thousand po uh for twenty twenty one po so ninety percent na po ang utilize natin last year so medyo may mga uh, an, uh mga hindi pa po nabayaran last year po due to ano considering po yung covid uh, 19 pandemic po and all other ano uh challenges po na na-encounter po ng ating field offices. So we are really in support of the uh, universal social pension and the increase of uh, the amount from 500 to 1,000 or more maybe uh, for uh, for consideration in uh, our uh, legislators and our budget. Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you, uh, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Ms. Salud, you made mention that the uh, DSWD's position is uh, for the transferring of uh, your uh, your uh, your uh, work of uh, distributing and managing social pension, uh, transferring from DSWD to uh, NCSC. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, since uh, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, no, Mr. Chairman. Let me just. Ask, uh, okay, Mr. Uh, Senator Nancy, yes, ne you have the floor. Uh, following your question, Mr. Chairman, just for clarification, para nabanggit ho din niya kanina na parang for this year, may nal nalipat na sila na pondo sa NCSC, tama po ba? Uh, Senator, uh, Your Honor, wala pa po na, na transfer sa NCSC na funding po. Nasa DSWD pa rin po and also this year po, sa 2022, nasa GAA pa rin po. Na under ng DSWD uh, budget po. Okay, but for next year, willing na kayo na hindi ilagay sa inyo? Parang, I mean, following the question of our chairman. Uh, parang ganun, ma'am. <laughs> okay. That's their yeah. position. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Yes, chairman. Thank you, thank you, Senator Bina. No? Miss Ms. Alud, so um, right now, how many qualified senior citizens are currently not receiving the monthly stipend not receiving uh sir not, uh, not receiving uh, uh, as of december 31 uh, po, sir 2021 we already serve a total of uh, uh wait long because for 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 2021 the target is three million eight hundred thirty five thousand sixty six. yes sir uh, as of December 31, 2021, we already served a total of 3,433,131 uh, or 89.52% uh, out yes. of the total target of uh, 3.4 million. Mr. Chairman. So, mga 400,000. Uh, 3.8, sorry po. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, so, kulang kulang 400,000 yung mga qualified yun qualified senior citizens na hindi nakakatanggap. So uh, what's the reason why, yes, why, uh, why, why they are in your uh, waiting list, so to speak? Uh, po. Yes, uh, Your Honor po. Uh, 
ang remaining po na more or less 400,000 na hindi pa nabayaran po ay uh, mababayaran po siya this quarter po, January to March. Considering na may mga cancellation po ng payouts during the previous quarters po last year. So marami po talaga ang hindi na bayaran last uh, end of the 2021 po sir so uh we already obligated the funds and the payouts will be scheduled uh this january to march po para matapos po yung remaining na mga unpaid beneficiaries po yes just to be clarified no you're saying in the first quarter of the year you will be able to reach yung kulang kulang 400,000 na qualified senior citizens na yes. makakatanggap Apo. You already identify, you already know where to go, you already know uh, how to do it. Yes po, may mga payroll na po yun. Uh, ang okay. scheduling lang po ng payouts ang ang na-delays po. Mr. Chairman? Okay. Yes, uh, can I give the floor to Sen. Risa and then Sen. Nancy? Uh, nag Nagtaas lang ng una si Sen. Risa. Uh, Sen. Nancy, Para lang. sorry. Ako, Sige, just one uh, quick Risa. question lang, Sen. Okay. Risa. Yung numbers lang. Kasi right, yung, Nancy. Gusto ko lang itanong yung target ban ng DSW is the actual number of indigent uh, senior citizens. And siguro, can DSWD spread into the records? Ano ba talaga yung numero based on their data ng indigent na senior citizens? Yes, uh, yes uh, Senator. Uh, ang basis po ng indigent senior citizens namin po, of course, yung Uh, nasa criteria po ng RA 9994 and uh, ang actual data po ay nanggagaling po sa ating uh, DSWD field offices in coordination with the local government units. Uh, uh, those uh, senior citizens who are applying or coming into the DSWD, mo, mga walk-in clients, mga referrals po, ayun po ay sinasubject po for validation ng ating mga staff or personnel sa DSWD field offices. Uh, but uh, yun pong um, as of December 31 po, we already have a total of, ay, as of January 21, we already have a total of 4,599,589 uh, validated uh, senior citizens po. So kasama, uh, kasama na po dito ang ating uh, target na 3.8 million. So more or less, mayroon po tayong uh, 700,000 na mga indigenous senior citizens na isiserve po. Based sa validation po. So, so 4 million sa bilang, more or less 4 million sa bilang niyo yung indigent senior citizens. Yes po. Y y yan lang po, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sen. Risa. Thank you. Senator Risa. Thank you po. You're welcome, Senator Risa. And Sen then give the floor Sen. Senator Risa kay Kong uh, Ordonez. Thank you. Yes po. Quick follow-up question lang po sa DSWD kay Ma'am Annalisa. Ma'am, um, tama po, for the record lang po, tama po ba yung narinig ko na ang DSWD naglulook forward kayo sinosuportahan nyo yung universal social pension of 1,000 pesos or more. Universal. So, lahat ng indigent senior citizens, pero dagdag pa sa kanila, lahat po ng senior citizens. Tama po ba for the record, uh, Ma'am Annalisa? Yes po. Uh, considering po na marami po ang senior citizens na... Um, nangangailangan din po ng ano uh, ng social pension po aside from our existing beneficiaries po. Marami po tayong mga natatanggap na mga request or complaints considering na sa mga uh, medical and health condition po ng ating senior citizens. Agree okay, po. Miss Salud, Manalisa. sorry, sorry uh, Senator Risa, no? Miss Salud, you're saying because there's a big difference between increasing hmm. the monthly social pension of senior citizens from 500 to 1,000, and universal social pension. So you're saying, uh -huh. Ms. Annalisa, that you are supporting DSW disposition is not only increasing the monthly social pension, but also the universal social pension. Uh -huh. Just to be clarified, because these are two different... Yes, uh, po. Uh -oh. uh -huh. That is the position of DSWD. Okay. Uh -huh. I, uh, you know uh -huh. what you're saying, uh -huh. but it's... Uh, We take note of yes. your uh, position. Thank you. Uh, Salamat, Mr. Mr. Chair, yes. kasi importante Sorry. po yun. Uh, hindi lang nangangailangan, pero deserve ng lahat ng senior citizens. Yung indigent plus yung iba pa. Salamat, Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We yeah. give the floor to uh, Kong Ordanes. We we promise him to. Uh, uh, Baka po kayong question din sa DSWD before we uh, start Sir, asking questions. Ricardo. Natutuwa po ako dun sa sa sinabi ng DSWD na sinosuportahan nila yung universal. Sa totoo lang po, na ako ay umupo bilang uh, pumalit sa na yumaong congressman datol. Ang una ko pong tinutukan ay ang universal pension po. Yan po ang aking isinulong. Sa kasama ang palad po, hindi po ako nakalusot doon sa universal pension. Kaya po tayo ay napunta ron sa social pension. Sa social pension po, uh, medyo nahirapan pa rin po tayo. Kasi nga, uh, ang unang problema, sinasabi, ay ang pondo. Basta nga ano, pan panahon ng pandemya, wala pong pondo ang gobyerno. So napunta po tayo rin sa social pension. Now, sa social pension po, ay napakabigat po ng requirements, ng qualification. You must be an indigent, indigent uh, frail, kailangan mahina ka po, sickly, with disability. Kaya po maraming senior citizens ang nagre-reklamo bakit ako senior na hindi pa ako nakakatanggap. So ang ginawa po natin yun sa social pension, pinagaan po natin yung requirements. Pinanggal na po natin yung indigent, frail, sickly, with disability. Ang ginawa na lang po natin, no permanent source of income. So dun po sa 3.8 na tumatanggap ngayon itong 2021, ako po ay naniniwala na marami po ang madadagdag dyan. Subalit, kung ating uh, aaprobahan ang universal pension, mas, mas uh, pabor po ako ron. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Ordanes. And uh, we, 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 we understand where you're coming from. And uh, I think all of us here, especially those in Congress, uh, whether you're in the House or in the Senate, we're all aware of how... Uh, Legislation works, you know, and uh, we have, uh, for example, in the Senate, you have 24 republics and uh, you have to listen to each one of them and uh, you know how it is. And uh, uh, we are definitely for uh, whatever we can do as much as we can, uh, as much as we can give uh, help doon sa ating mga senior citizens. Siyempre, doon po tayo lahat. And, then, and I'm also glad uh, being the uh, chairperson of this uh, subcommittee. I'm glad that the position of DSWD is uh, not only for uh, the uh, increasing of monthly stipend, but uh, the universal uh, social uh, pension. Um, I was just told that uh, our friends from DOF uh, is already on board. We have been uh, waiting for them also. See, si Miss Charmaine Odicta from uh, Div uh, Division Chief ng uh, Fiscal Policy Planning Office of the Department of Finance. May we hear from her, uh, Ms. Charmaine Odicta? Uh, good, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Sorry, I was not able to respond earlier to your call because I, I got disconnected. I have some issues with my internet connection. Uh, for the DOF's position, we already submitted a position paper at the, to the lower house on this proposal to, ex to increase the social pension of senior citizens. Uh, we share the se sentiment on, of the DBM on this because it will have an impact on the expenditure of the government. So the proposed 100% increase in pension fund from 500 to 1,000 would require, and based on our est estimates, an additional 22.74 billion in appropriations. This excludes uh, the ad administrative costs. Uh, we note that under the 20 last year's GAA, uh, the social pension only covers 3.79 million indigent senior citizens, which already stands at 23.5 billion. Uh, for the DOF, instead of increasing the amount of social pension, uh, uh, we would like to recommend that uh, the LGUs, especially the first and second class municipalities or cities, may consider providing additional benefits to their elderly citizens. Uh, for instance, uh, the, we, we note that the city of Manila 
grants a uh, 500 monthly allowance to senior citizens, persons with disabilities, and solo parents. Uh, uh, this uh, it should be also taken in consideration the impact of the Mandanas rulings on the increase of the LGU share from the national tax. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, can, can, can we just be clarified with what you mentioned a while ago? If it is increasing the monthly stipend, the social pension of senior citizens, we need 22 billion. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. If we are to increase the monthly social pension of senior citizens, you were saying a while ago that we need to increase the budget uh, by uh, 22 billion, additional 22 billion. Is that correct? Yes, yes, Your Honor. It will be. And good if we are to implement what DSWD is supporting, not only increasing monthly social pension, but the universal social pension, how much are we looking at? Actually, Your Honor, we do not have the figures yet uh, because uh, the proposal of the SWD is new to us. So we have to get back to our numbers. But I think yeah. it would mean a, a larger a larger appropriation if we will to apply the social pension universally, Your Honor. Uh, can you get back to us uh, with the computation? In the yes, Your Honor. Uh, we will thank you. Mr. Yes, thank you. Uh, Senator thank you. Risa, yes, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Follow-up questions kay, uh, sa DOF, kay Ma'am Charmaine. Ma'am, I'm glad binanggit nyo yung recommendation ng department sa mga LGUs to provide additional benefits at yung pag-highlight nyo nung context nung implementation ng Mandanas ruling starting this year. Actually po, uh, binanggit po yon ni Nanay Salve kanina as one of their half dozen uh, funding sources. No? Uh, uh, ang phrasing nila ay 1% ng annual budget ng LGUs in the context nga nung Mandanas ruling. I wonder, Ma'am Charmaine, kung narinig niyo po yung iba pa nilang uh, proposed funding sources, uh, si Nanay Salve at saka si uh, uh, Sir Floro. Uh, in addition sa LGUs at Mandanas, they mentioned Social Pension Fund, uh, DSWD Savings, yung Philippine Retirement Authority, uh, 10 billion of the government agents, national government agencies' budgets, uh, 5% ng annual national budget. Uh, re, uh, if, in relation to this reallocation of public expenditures, review of existing taxation laws, strengthening of policies and regulations, review and possible uh, utilization of fiscal and foreign exchange reserves, borrowing or restructuring of existing debts, at saka promotion of the national social dialogue. Lahat po para mapondohan yung uh, universal social pension. I wonder, um, Ma'am Charmaine, kung uh, may feedback ang Department of Finance or uh, kung anong tingin, at least on, on hearing these proposed funding sources sa senior citizens, representatives at organizations, kung may feedback po na pwedeng ibigay yung department. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we just heard these proposals just now. Uh, we didn't meet yet with uh, the DSWB and then uh, the other sectors on these. Uh, for the DOF, uh, I, I can't uh, state a position right now on these proposals, Your Honor. I need to uh, get back to to my principals and seek for their approval or if we agree or we do not agree on these proposals. I understand, Ma'am Charmaine. Baka, Mr. Chairman, pwede natin hingiin yung feedback nila in writing. And for now, just last two follow-up uh, points kay Ma'am Charmaine at baka din sa DBM kung meron silang ma-i-offer sa atin na impressions. Una po yung sinabi po ni Sir Floro. Very interesting sa akin, Mr. Chairman. First time I heard this. Ano pong tingin sa, ng DOF at DBM? Yung sinabi pong yung macroeconomic impact ng universal social pension comparable sa similar scale ng investment sa infrastructure. Uh, meron po bang palagay ang Departments of Finance at Budget tungkol dito? Ma'am Charmaine or Ma'am... Your Honor, for, yes, ma 
for the DOF, I think we need to do a study, okay, uh, cost-benefit analysis a study on the statement of Mr. Mr. Francisco. Paul, Mr. Oh. Francisco earlier. Okay po. Fair enough, uh, Ma'am Charmaine. Lastly po yung point ni Sir Floro din na um, yung universal social pension could bring government some return on investment. Um, meron po ba kayong uh, palagay dyan, um, Ma'am Charmaine? Or ang, or ang DBM, Mr. Chairman? Whether Ma'am Charmaine ng DOF or yung taga DBM kanina po. Yes. Ah, si Sir Evangelista pala yung sa DBM. Kung meron yeah. sila feedback. Do, do you have any uh, any study or anything uh, has to do with that? From ah, DBM? thank you po. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, regarding po dun sa question po, Ma'am, um, as we have said previously po, uh, we will await po the data from the DSWD and from there po, uh, we can assess for the viability of the measures po alongside with the DOF po. So at this uh, point po kasi hindi po kami makapagsabi po ng definite kasi iba-iba nga po yung mga proposals sa amount, pati po yung sa universe or sa scope po ng beneficiaries natin, Madam Chair. Again, fair enough po, uh, Sir Evangelista, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po. Pahingi na lang po through the chair para sa committee nung uh, feedback in writing nung dalawang departments kasi gusto ko lang i-appreciate na yung mga uh, advocates natin, representatives at saka yung mga uh, movements ng senior citizens Meron po silang initial study na ginawa, possible funding sources. So para sa akin, very welcome uh, na tanda, na handang-handa po silang makipagtrabaho. Hindi lang sa amin dito sa legislature, pati po sa executive, na mag-work out ng very doable universal social pension. Salamat po, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Risa, for that. It's uh, very important and uh, uh, I think uh, needs a lot of uh, uh, attention and uh, we will be awaiting for the uh, response coming from our uh, different agencies of government, DOF, uh, DBM, and the uh, DSWD. Uh, Senator Nancy, can I just uh, acknowledge, yung isa, may isa pa tayong commissioner. Uh, we have two representatives pala of NCSC, uh, not just Mr. Attorney Chair. Kasi, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mercado is also here. Yes, uh, Senator uh, Nancy, no, I'll give no. you the floor and then... Uh, uh, Commissioner Mercado. Uh, actually, Mr. Chairman, hindi, hindi, hindi po ito tanong. Hindi, isi-share ko lang kasi nabanggit yung Philippine Retirement Authority as a, as a funding source. And um, I know for a fact na hindi ganun kalaki yung um, kinikita ng um, Philippine Retirement Authority. And yung, yung as a GOCC, ang, ang ano talaga niyan, ang function niya is to encourage foreign nationals to retire in the Philippines. So, ang focus niya is not really on our seniors, yung, yung retirement ng ating mga senior citizens. But uh, it's more of a GOCC to market us as a potential ano yan, uh, place for uh, retirees abroad to move here sa, sa Pilipinas. So, ganun yung ano niya, no Philippine Retirement Authority. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Nancy. Uh, let's just recognize uh, our NCSC commissioner, uh, uh, Ma'am Mercado. Yes, you're recognized. Thank you, thank you, Chair, and good morning, everyone. No, just I was. I just want to make a follow through to the statement of DSW, the representative, Analisa Salud. One is, uh, I just want to point out that, uh, insofar as the transfer of uh, of the program to NCSC. That has been underway. In fact, even before any one of us was appointed, the Secretary of uh, DSWD has created um, a DSWD transition team no? in preparation for, for the eventual transfer of the programs. And it, in fact, went beyond, uh, it went beyond uh, just preparing to transfer the programs, but also drafted the first um, uh, IRR for the for NCSC, which we used as a benchmark. So I, I just want to recognize that there has there is a there is an effort on the side of DSWD to fast track the transfer of the programs, 
And right now in our table is a memorandum of agreement which uh, NCSC and the chair has already agreed to to pass it back to, to DSWD for the finalization so that we can already start working together on, um, on the transfer of the programs. In fact, there's already a recommendation from Sec Secretary Rolly to have a uh, Bautista to have a co-management of programs that are easier to transfer, like the centenarian programs and the, 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 the programs for seniors that are disabled. The only reason why the, so, the social pension program has to be last because uh, it's huge and there are a lot of ramification that goes with it. The second point which Annalisa was mentioning about uh, a gap uh, while we are, well, I, as we heard it, you said there are 12 million already as of the 2020 census. During our strat strategic planning last December, we recognized that there is a, there is 700,000 gap in the clean lease. Now, I think that's the thing that the chair was referring to. That's not funded yet. Uh, the, 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 that number of, uh, number of, uh, um, seniors that are in the clean list that has to be included in the funding, hopefully in the next next uh, next budget or whatever is is something that the commission has proposed actually, and we're hoping that that should be considered. And uh, the, the other thing that was pointed out by uh, uh, Senator Nancy Binay that um, how come it's only uh, eighty percent. Uh, 2021 budget ang ang ano no ang nabigay uh, it should be more at this point because uh we've been going around we've been we've been uh we've been observing how the payouts are done if there is a portion which is gap in the on the on the uh why it's not 100% is because there's BARM, which is not, which is included in that count, but BARM has not started paying out their 2021 because of some, some. Uh, I think it's more of a structural thing between, uh, the uh, between the processes of uh, DSWD that they require all all those that were unloaded to be, to be um, liquidated first before fresh funds are going to be downloaded again. So since they weren't able to 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 they were not able to liquidate yet since they're new they just came in into the organization. Nakabitin pa ng nakabitin pa yung 2021. But we're since we're not we, we cannot we're, there's going to be a tripartite uh, MOA between BARM, NCSC, and the SWD. So I hope it could cure some of the the rigidities in the memorandum of agreement. So yun lang yung point. And then the, the, the point on the universal, I, I think uh, DSWD and even NCSC has always been supportive of the universal uh, 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 pension, but um, realities on the ground uh, would say that observing everyone, uh, observing all the payouts in different regions, I think it's more important that we address first the, the gap, the gap in the in the indigents that are not included yet in the funded list, and second is uh, if if uh, it could be a a, a stopgap uh, thing, the increase we, we support the move of the of Congressman Ordanes for an increase of uh, at least for one thousand, given given the fact that there are also a lot of consideration. But yes, the most ideal is the universal uh, pension. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chairman. Yeah. Uh, can, can we acknowledge si Kong Ordanes uh, then Sen Risa? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Sensya na po. Ah, medyo mahirap po dito sa loob ng session hall at hindi po nakikita lahat kaagad. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Congressman Ordanes, please. Thank you. Thank you po. I just want to inform uh, Mr. Chair, si Ms. Charmaine uh, of Department of Finance, na meron po tayong nakasalang na bill sa 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 Congress uh, setting aside 1% of annual budget of NGUs intended for seniors exclusive for senior citizens only 
Yun lang po, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair? Yeah, um, Risa, please proceed. Nag-ano lang, uh, anong tawag doon natin? Yes. Uh, nag, ano, health break lang ang ating chair. <laughs> Salamat, Madam Chair. Follow-up lang po dun sa instruction ni Chair kanina sa Departments of Finance and Budget uh, and the Management uh, sa feedback in writing dun sa proposals uh, ni na Nanay Salve at uh, Sir Floro uh, on the funding sources, on the uh, social, uh, macroeconomic impact at saka on the return on investment na special request lang po, huwag po sanang tagalan yung feedback kasi the seniors, senior citizens have waited long enough. Uh, inaasahan po ng komite namin na huwag po sanang uh, abutin ng siyam-siyam because ang legislative window namin po is very narrow. Uh, kami po ni na Madam Chair at uh, Mr. Chair ni Rep. Ordanes uh, meron na lang po kaming limang sessions uh, sa 18th Congress kasama na po mamayang hapon. So, aabangan po talaga namin ang feedback ng Departments of Finance at Budget with bated breath. Salamat po, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, Sen. Risa. At saka, hindi, hindi lang naman five session days, Sen. Risa, babalik ka pa naman sa next year. But you know, kung mapapasa na natin ito ngayon, di ba, why not? Subukan uh, natin, why not, sa 18th Congress. Yes, yes Madam Chair, salamat po. But, but more than that, siguro, lilihis lang ako ng topic not related dun sa um, so, social tension. Kasi alam niyo naman, no, mainit na mainit na ngayon usapin yung pagbabakuna sa ating mga senior citizens. Eh, since nandito na ho yung uh, ating mga rep representatives and Risa, baka magandang malaman kung Kumusta na ho ba itong uh, pagbabakuna ng ating mga senior citizens? Lalong lalo na dun ho sa boosters kasi uh, alam ko yun yung numero na uh, hanggang ngayon eh medyo mababa pa rin. Mr. Sherman, yung tanong ko lang medyo hindi related sa pension. Uh, I, 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 I heard you, I heard you, yes. Who, yes. Who can, uh, si si Ma'am Salvacion, yes? Ma'am, you're recognized. Thank you. Uh, Naka-booster na po ako. Buong pamilya namin, booster na. <laughs> and uh, we are campaigning dito sa aming mga kapitbahay uh, for, no, for everyone to, uh, to go on booster shots. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sige po, uh, Sir Floro. Yes, sir. Uh Although karamihan ng mga senior citizens ay uh, supportive sa uh, ano sa vaccination process do. No? Uh, pero nirerespeto po namin ang karapatan ng bawat senior citizen na mag-decide on informed uh, basis kung sila po ay uh, hindi pumapayag na magpa-vaccinate. So we believe that uh, we should respect the, their rights for as long as they will follow the protocols. They will not be moving around if they are sick and uh, they will keep themselves healthy. Uh, ang position po namin sa karamihan ng mga ibang senior citizens ay uh, we should give them their uh, their rights and uh, respect them uh, if they do not want. But of course, we will still try to convince them and uh, try to explain the, the benefits. Uh, ang problema lang po talaga ay uh, yung social media natin ay ang daming pampagulo. And government should also be consistent with its position because uh, there are also some government officials who are saying something else. So let us help one another uh, in this problem and uh, let's be united. Thank you. Thank you. May, may I just uh, go back to our uh, uh, discussion earlier? I, I, I uh, would like to ask some questions to uh, DSWD, uh, Ms. Uh, Annalisa Salud. Kasi oh, kanina, NCSC mentioned, uh, they, they mentioned earlier uh, that the distribution of uh, stipend was through physical cash distribution to the uh, beneficiaries. But under DSWD Memorandum Circular Number 4, Series of 2019, there are three modes of uh, delivery. So perhaps if we could ask our uh, DSWD to just clarify this, uh, what's the most common mode used by uh, DSWD in uh, distributing uh, social pension to its beneficiaries? Ano ba talaga? Physical uh, cash distribution lang or... We are uh, following this uh, uh, circular na there are three modes of delivery, ma'am. 
Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. Ang distribution scheme po ng social pension are uh, ay cash payout po. Physical uh, uh, distribution po ng ating uh, field offices, uh, special disbursing officers. Uh, pumupunta po sila sa mga areas uh, sa barangays or LGUs kung saan po ang venue ng ng social pension payouts. Pero uh, this year po, uh, meron po tayong uh, partnership with Land Bank for the use of cash cards for the social pensioners. Uh, based on the report of Land Bank, uh, they already produced a total of 3 million cash cards uh, for distribution po ito sa mga regional uh, uh, offices po sa ating mga beneficiaries po. And uh, we are uh, planning to use the cash cards uh, early this year po para po sa social pension po. And also, we are uh, also exploring money remittance companies as provided in the law or in the GAA na uh, we may use the, uh, we may... Uh, Ito yung mga door-to-door -door scheme? Money remittance po yung like... Uh, yung over the counters Palawan, Cebuana, okay. and Luyer, wherein uh, nandoon po sila sa mga barangays ano po uh, present po sila doon and uh, we will uh, also uh, uh, utilize that uh, delivery scheme po this year po but uh, as may I also share we have a lim but, limited but before uh, that ma'am uh, if, if, if yung money remittance ang gagamitin will 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 uh, no will there uh, uh, incur some fees so who will shoulder the fees if there is uh, yes po uh, part po siya ng ating admin cost but, yeah, so uh, we will shoulder the yes, fees the yes okay para po hindi mabawas sa pera ng uh, ng senior citizen po uh, but we are also requesting an additional admin cost operational cost uh, this year po kasi uh, senator your honor we only have a 2% admin cost out of the 23 billion pesos. So very uh, challenging po yun sa amin kung paano po namin i-facilitate ano, para mapastrack po ang delivery scheme kasi nga po admin cost namin is 2% only. So maybe we uh, uh, we are proposing po na madagdagan po ang aming admin cost. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, can we ask the DSWD if we if you already have a breakdown as as per your memorandum circular number 4 series of 2019 ilang percentage yung uh, ito, cash advance by designated special disbursing officer door to door delivery scheme cash card through authorized government depository bank uh, doon sa distribution niyo meron na ho ba kayong uh, ganon uh, sir, ang um, aming ini-implement pa lang po ay yung cash advance uh, payout po since so, uh, so ngayon wala pa ini-implement yung uh, this year pa lang uh, po mag-start ang cash card at saka uh, money remittance po. See ya. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Is uh, Senator Risa or Senator Nancy uh raising their hand? Sorry. Okay na po, Mr. Chair. Salamat po. Yes, uh who is who's uh, who's raising her hand or his hand a while ago? Anyway, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Uh, in NCSC, kasi hindi ko alam kung kanina pa po kayo nagtaas ng kamay. Yeah, I or, did. Uh, yes, I did, uh, Mr. Attorney, Chair. Attorney, Attorney, uh, yeah, no, please. Yeah, I, I did uh, raise my hand a while back, Mr. Chair, in response to the question of uh, Senator Nancy Pinay over the vaccination. As you will notice, Mr. Chair, uh, the vaccination is not uh, is not uniform all throughout. Inuna po yung Metro Manila and understandable po dahil yan yung epicenter talaga. And then it went to the other uh, metropol metropolitan areas. But uh, right now, I think uh, so much can be achieved if uh, the logistical issues uh, will be uh, addressed by uh, by AATF and uh, all the agencies involved in the vaccination. I think uh, the LGUs are uh, very uh, uh, much in uh, in uh, responsibility for this because 
ang nag ang nagbabakuna po naman ay ang mga LGU. So I I think uh, much could be done if uh, the National Commission as well as the Senior Citizens Association will be informed of uh, not only the schedules but also the numbers that uh, need uh, that is being brought uh, in the uh, areas. So yan lang po ang comment natin. I think uh, so much has been done for the vaccination uh, I, 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 so far, but uh, there still are gaps. And uh, in uh, comment to the question of, uh, uh, to the issue raised by uh, Cafloro, uh, even as we respect the rights of the senior citizens, we cannot help but keep on educating that uh, immunity is the name of the game. If we cannot raise our immunity, uh, our people will be threatened. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Senator Binay. Please. Siguro tutuhugin ko lang sin sa pag-uusapan natin yung uh, modality on payments. Hindi ko kaya pwedeng, kumbaga isabay natin yung programa ng pagbabakuna pag nagkakaroon ng cash payout yung PSWD. I mean, to, kasi di ba, parang nandun na yung mga senior citizens natin, di ba? And habang uh, kinukuha nila yung uh, uh, ayuda nila, let us also make it available to them yung pagbabakuna kung, kung gugustuhin nila, di ba? Because at the end of the day, uh, sa kanila pa rin naman yung uh, choice on whether or not to get vaccinated. Yun lang po, Mr. Chairman. Kasi nga, parang ngayon, name of the game is how to be creative para mas ma-encourage uh, ma and make it more uh, available sa ating mga kababayan, itong pagbabakuna. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Nancy. Uh, Kung Ordonez, you want to... Kung Ompong? Yes, sir. Yes, you're recognized, sir. Well, uh, regarding the vaccination, sir, okay naman po ako ron. I, I have so many suggestions with the IITF na medyo late na po ang kanilang uh, 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 reaksyon. Like, yung uh, sinasabi ni Lutong Barangay, ang ating vaccination, matagal ko na po sa kanilang isinuggest yan. Saka po itong sa vaccination sa mga pharmacist. As early as May 2021 po, meron sumulat na ako sa kanila. Kaya sinasabi ko too late, but then okay pa rin po. At uh, at least sinunod po nila yung aking recommendation. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, Kong uh, Ordanes. Senator Binay, Senator Pisa. I think uh, I, I have to uh, mention that... Uh, we are uh, obviously pressed for time. Um, we only have uh, a week to go next week. And so uh, what we're going to do is uh, 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 after we adjourn this uh, committee hearing, we will talk to the members of this committee and the members of the Senate and find out uh, uh, if we can actually uh, 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 come up with a committee report already, uh, considering that... Uh, uh, we are pressed for time and uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, with the uh, submission of uh, the position papers of uh, different uh, government agencies and the uh, people's organization. No? I just have to uh, put that on record. Um, um, yes, Senator Mr. Lisa, Chairman? sorry. Yes. It, no, it's all right, Mr. Chairman. Salamat po. In fact, related dun sa point na kasasabi lang ng chair, uh, kanina po, nung uh, nag-preside uh, uh, si Chair Nancy, nasabi ko nga po sa Departments of Finance and Budget na kung maaring uh, mas maaga natin matanggap yung kanilang... Uh, yeah, I was about to ask them yes, that. <laughs> opo, yung kanilang uh, studies and in, in feedback dun sa very concrete proposals na ibinigay ni Nanay Salve at uh, Sir Floro, tingin ko um, critical kung makapagbigay sila nung kanilang feedback sa atin ng mas maaga. I would be very confident po, Mr. Chair, na makapaglabas tayo ng committee report. Hopefully, hopefully, para kasama ni na Rep. Ordanes, maihabol pa itong bill na ito ngayong uh, next two weeks. Uh, in any case po, kahit kung adjourn na tayo, 
pwede pa rin tayong i-authorize mag bicam just you know thinking ahead with a lot of hope at pag uh, uh, resume natin briefly sa uh, pagkatapos ng kampanya ay posibleng ano maratify pa rin ito at uh, maipadala sa Malacañang para sa uh, pirma ng president. Kung sakali po Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, kaya po talagang hinihingi ko po ng maaga yung written feedback ng dalawang department uh, for the benefit of our committee po. Salamat Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, Senator Risa and uh I think obviously we're all here to uh, show our support to our senior citizens. We are all here uh, ready to walk the extra mile. Hindi ko nga ako alam bigla ako naging uh, presiding officer ngayong araw na ito. <laughs> I was just elected, I mean designated yesterday. So it's not even 24 hours ago when I was designated to to hear this uh, uh, committee hearing. But uh, just to show that uh, we will do everything, anything to help our senior citizens. Yes, uh, Senator Nancy, before we... Uh, uh, Sir Floro, you would like to uh, say something? Yes, sir. Uh, pwede ho bang uh, mag-raise ng uh, two points lang po? Yes. Yeah, number one po, uh, whatever will be the outcome of uh, whatever uh, um, legislation that will come out, we hope that uh, the issue of uh, data data and the uh, listing of uh, those that are uh, the real beneficiaries and the really qualified ones, uh, maayos na po natin yung information, yung data. And we, the senior citizens group, are willing to help monitor. I-involve nyo po kami ng mga tutuhanan para mawala po yung corruption dyan sa listahan. Pangalawa po, uh, para sa pangalan po ng mga uh, uh, ret retirees na meron na po silang existing pension, Wag naman po ninyong gawing kasalanan namin na nag-contribute kami sa sistema ng social security system dahil pinaghandaan po namin yan. Uh, please don't make it as a reason not to include uh, many of us because uh, as you know, many of us are receiving probably pension but it's not enough. Uh, it's way, way below the uh, uh, daily requirements uh, that uh, we need. So please uh, put that in mind also na hindi namin kasalanan kung nag-pension kami. Kung meron mang mga malalaki ang pension na tinatanggap, eh... Pwede naman po silang mag-decide na huwag na silang tumanggap ng social pension. Pero yung pong nangangailangan talaga, maski na may pension. Uh, ako po ay 5,000 lang ang pension ko sa gobyerno after 18 years of working. I don't think that will be enough to tide me until I die. Thank you. Ay, Thank you very po. much. Uh, yes, uh, Congressman Ordanias, please. Sir, Let me um, wrap up, please. Thank you. Mr. Chair, uh, in behalf of the senior citizens, magpapasalamat po ako sa inyo sa ating mga kasamahan senador, si Mang Senator Risa, si Senator Nancy, sa lahat po ng resource persons, chairman, uh, si Ma'am Salve, si Mr. Floro, muli po, maraming maraming salamat po at uh, makaasa po kayo na ang senior citizens party list ay lagi nakaagapay sa inyo sa pangangailangan po nating mga senior citizens. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, we are extremely grateful that we had a very fruitful and eventful uh, discussion on the uh, House bills and Senate bills concerning the provision of an increased social pension for our senior citizens. Napaka-importante po ng mga panukala na ating uh, dineliberate ngayon dahil uh, pinaka-iingatan natin ang ating mga lolo at lola, lalo na po ngayong uh, nasa gitna pa rin tayo ng pandemya. We also highlight the need to increase the monthly stipend of senior citizens, taking into account the inflation rate from the time the social pension was uh, introduced in 2010. Uh, muli, salamat po sa ating uh, chairperson ng Committee on Social Justice, Welfare and Rural Development, Senator Laila Dilima, for designating uh, this representation to hear this uh, committee hearing. Thank you for your trust. Sa ating Senate President, thank you for your trust. Salamat din po sa ating mga resource persons, uh, Congressman uh, Rodolfo Ordanes, Senior Citizen uh, Party List at Chairperson ng uh, House Special Committee on Senior Citizens. Sa ating mga kasamahan sa pamahalaan, DSWD, DBM, DOF, NCSC, mga pribadong organisasyon, Coalition of Services uh, of the Elderly, Philippine Association of Retired Persons, Senior Citizen Sectoral Council, uh, sa ibang mga uh, gusto pong magbigay ng kanilang position paper at mag-submit dito sa ating uh, committee, uh, more than willing po kaming i-accommodate ang inyong mga position papers at may mga gusto po kayong idagdag. Uh, willing po kaming nga tignan huyan. 
At uh, syempre sa ating mga kasamahan dito sa Senado, maraming maraming salamat kay Senator Risa Ontiveros, partner Senator Nancy Binay, kapatid kay Senator uh, Marcos at iba pa. Sa mga dumalo po ngayong araw, maraming salamat po sa pagbibigay ninyo ng oras at taktibong partisipasyon uh, ngayong araw na ito. Uh, we will continue to uh, work on this, study on this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, matter with the help of our resource persons, of course. Uh, itong transfer of the function of distributing the social pension funds from DSWD to uh, the NCSC, especially the manpower com com uh, component no, that will be necessary to carry out these functions. Yung uh, most expeditious and efficient manner of distributing funds to senior citizens ensuring that we minimize, if not eliminate, any delays? How do we ensure that the uh, list of beneficiaries of the social pension of indigent citizens are regularly updated? At uh, makita natin yung mga hindi pa rin natin nakikita what efforts uh, uh, can also be undertaken in conjunction with local government units to improve the welfare of our senior citizens, the form of a social pension for our senior citizens, the budgetary requirements for the implementation of these measures, the possible so sources of funding, and the economic impact of this investment in the welfare of our senior citizens. Lahat po yan ay uh, pag-aaralan nating mabuti at uh, sa lalong madaling panahon as uh, requested by our dear colleagues, Senator Risa, and uh, this representation sa mga government agencies, we look forward uh, to your submission of uh, the uh, pertinent documents that we ask uh, during the deliberation of this uh, hearing. Rest assured that uh, this Chair. representation uh, took note of all the concerns raised by all stakeholders during this hearing and uh, we will study the measures carefully and as soon as possible, uh, as earlier mentioned, we wanted to come up uh, with the committee report uh, considering the time constraints na matatapos na ho itong uh, 18th Congress. So muli, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga and may God bless us all. This uh, committee hearing is hereby adjourned. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat, salamat po, Mr. Chair.